If I were a reader of most, you know, mainstream American publications, I wouldn't really know that the cast review even happened. Uh, can you talk about why that is? To me, this seems like kind of a massive oversight. And I know you've been calling a lot of attention to this. Yeah, I've been a little bit um, radicalized in recent years just about the state of mainstream progressive journalism. This won't come as news to anyone who, who's read or listened to my work, but this is is one of the more remarkable examples I've come across because in many cases, what outlets like CNN or NBC say about this subject is indistinguishable from what activist groups do uh, to the point where I wrote about this on my Substack. Someone tipped me off that in basically every CNN article on this subject, on the news side, these aren't opinion pieces. They have a stock copied and pasted sentence about I've the got efficacy. That slide right here, so we can all look at it. Uh, this is the CNN's kind of copy pasta definition of what is gender affirming care. Um, and yeah. it says gender affirming care is medically necessary evidence based care that uses a multidisciplinary approach to help a person transition from their assigned gender, the one that they were designated at birth, to their affirmed gender the gender by which they want to be known. And, and as you've documented, this appears over and over and over again. The, some variation on this paragraph, um, we I pulled together just like a little montage of like it appearing and article after article that I'll play as you tell us a little bit more about what you take away from the fact that this kind of copy pasta paragraph uh, is used yeah, I mean, I, I just think it's remarkable and it's quite irresponsible. And I mean, maybe you guys have seen something like this before. I certainly haven't. Like, it's not unusual to have a style guide. Um, if you're a writer, it's useful to have like little bits of the process almost outsourced to your editors or your bosses. Like, should I use a legal immigrant or undocumented immigrant? There's often a style guide at a publication. Reason probably has one saying, this is what we use. We're not going to litigate this every time. To have a second. Oh, oh, I, I was, I was, I was just going to say, yeah. I mean, reason, you know, mostly follows the Associated Press style guide, but we deviate fr from it in some important ways, like when there was the big kerfuffle over whether or not black should be capitalized while white <laughs> remains lowercase. Yeah. Uh, we had a very. Well, this is back when I was an editor for Reason, as opposed to more writer. I was very much on the side of absolutely not. We are not going to adhere to this kind of nonsensical yeah. um, Associated Press rule that very much, I think, um, just sort of <clears throat> aids in. Um, it, it sort of fans the flames of some of these racial grievance arguments in a way that I find unhelpful and distracting. Yeah. And yet that was the Associated Press dictate from on high. Um, and so we still to this day deviate from the AP in that way. But I know the AP also dictates that people use gender affirming care, which mm -hmm. is language that I sort of object to because it kind of gives away the argument, right? It acts as if it's a little bit of a foregone conclusion where like, you know, affirming, how could you, how could you disagree with something that affirms somebody? Right. Yeah, I mean, I think great distress, gonna... right? Like we all can see, I think many people can see people who are dealing with this are in great distress. And so of course you would want to affirm them. Of course you'd want to do a benevolent thing. Yeah, I mean, I think there've been a lot of those little examples of outlets just taking on activist language. Um, the CNN thing is just sort of different and, and more remarkable because you're just, you're outsourcing your thinking on this and saying this medically necessary and evidence-based both mean pretty particular things. And neither of those has been proven as the CAS report showed. Do you expect that there will be a pivot in these media outlets w uh, upon the publication of this and probably more importantly, the adoption by these national governments of some of its recommendations? Um, well, I mean, on the media side, I think there's a subset of really gonzo outlets that are sort of running hit pieces against the cast review. Um, and the cast mm -hmm. review isn't perfect. No scientific publication is, but it, it, it's quite solid. And it's also the case for its solidity increases when you note that it just came to the same conclusion as everyone else. So it, it, it's strange to paint it in a nefarious light. I think the fact that CNN is ignoring it, um, and I think NBC is mostly ignoring it, all the major outlets are mostly ignoring it, other than the Times, which has been good on this, um, and the Atlantic, that's actually a good first step that they're not running hit pieces. Like it sort of suggests they're a little bit wary about coming okay. out on the activist side, which is in itself uh, progress. On the other hand, they should obviously cover this because they provide blanket coverage to other aspects of the youth gender medicine fight. So why would you possibly not cover the most important scientific publication in the history of this controversy? It's a little bit baffling. I like that we're sort of like uh, clearly grading on a curve, right? Like the state of American mainstream media is so bad that the absence of awful articles on this is perceived as like a good thing. Hey. 
Thanks for watching that clip from our show, Just Asking Questions. You can watch another clip here or the full episode here. And please subscribe to Reason's YouTube channel and the Just Asking Questions podcast feed for notifications when we post new episodes every Thursday.